A few years ago, my wife bought me something called a scrambled square puzzle. And it's these squares, and you tile them together to try to match. And you want to form it into a 3x3 three three grid. Okay. And I spent like a little bit of time trying to solve it and got really annoyed because it's one of those, you know, it's basically just permutating the puzzle till you find the solution. And I kind of set it aside. Well, recently what I decided to do was solve the problem using a computer. And I took the, um, the list of bears and I put them in a JSON document. So I enumerate the bears and I have, for each square, what bear is on what part of the tile. And then I write a program in Python to manipulate the bears. So it basically has a tile class, a board class, and then a program to basically solve the board, okay? And I'm gonna put a link to the program in GitHub in the description. And what it does is it basically does a, it generates a tree from you know a permutation starting at the corner and places each tile that could be placed there and then does a depth first search until it finds the solution. Okay. So now if we were to go here and type make bears, it'll run the program, grind out all the possible combinations you know, doing a depth first search as it goes, and it says puzzle solved. And so it says, uh, tile is tile four, direction three. So this is tile four. So you place it by rotating it down, zero, one, two, three. That's tile, that's tile four in position three. Then it says tile three in position Zero. So, by the way, I put numbers on all the tiles to correspond with the JSON, and that way I would be able to, when it spits out the output, be able to solve it. Okay. So then it says tile seven, direction one. So that's tile seven, zero, one. Then we go tile one, direction zero. So that's like that. Then it says tile two, direction two. So here's two, zero, one, two. And then it says tile five, direction two, zero, one, two. This is looking pretty promising. And then it's tile eight, excuse me, tile six, direction zero. Then Tile 9, direction 0. And then finally, tile 8, direction 0. And as you can see, it tessellates so that the Kodiak bear is all one piece, the black bear is one piece, the polar bear is one piece, Kodiak upside down, grizzly, polar bear, grizzly, 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 Kodiak, black bear, and then polar bear. Now, what's interesting is it doesn't tile on the edges this way or on the sides that way. So that there's bears here that don't match up. And I was thinking about that. And actually, if they made it so that it wrapped around, the puzzle would be substantially easier to solve because any piece, any piece that's an edge piece could also be the center. I actually would kind of prefer a solution like that. <laughs> but that's not the way it works.